Good morning, Concrete World. Got a little uh, sidewalk action going on right now. My man Abraham up there, one of my trainees. So I'm back here showing how good of a worker he is now because I did train him. I'm bragging a little bit, I ain't going to lie. Anyway, what's going on today? Another day in the Concrete World. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. It's Saturday morning. Sitting here waiting my turn. I don't know. It looks like these guys might have ordered up a four inch slump. He's probably pouring right about a Lord, probably about a five right now, it looks like maybe. All right, let's break down slump real quick. All right, slump. Um, usually the slump is on your ticket. Mine's is definitely on the ticket. Um, usually most guys order a four unless you're going to like a curb. Curb makes you know they're going to be less than a four. Um, a lot of customers do not pour it a four. They ask for it. Um, and then they just add water when they get there. You know what I'm saying? Or even after the inspector inspection is done they'll add some water all right for guys that don't understand i tried to explain it once um and i had a new guy that i just trained and he just mixed it up a bit but he finally got it at the end when i put it like this okay the higher the number that they ask for right meaning four if they want to go higher than that five six seven eight the higher the number the wetter the concrete okay now on your gauge like i tell guys you know if you're using your gauge to get your slump right the lower the number on the gauge the wetter the concrete okay so you know if you write about a 2000 something like that and you put water in it's gonna drop okay it's not gonna go to 2500 it's gonna go down 1500 a thousand okay so we got to remember that the higher the slump they ask for, the lower the number on the gauge, okay? The higher the slump, the wetter the concrete, okay? Well, the higher the number, let me say that. So, if they ask for a 10, they basically want soup, okay? Um, that's basically the easiest way to break it down. Um, I tell my guys and I teach my guys, since I'm certified to test, I'll test their slump and, uh, you know, usually have them guess Okay, well, where you think you're at right now? And then they look at their gauge and they'll tell me what it is and I'll tell them exactly what it is. So now they can use their gauge to gauge exactly where the slump is without having me test it every time they're about to roll out or anything like that. So, I'm gonna break it down one more time, okay? The higher the slump they want, the wetter the concrete, okay? As the number gets higher, one is going to be extremely dry, two is dry, three is dry, four, you get a little wet, five, six, seven, eight, more wet. Okay? Now on your gauge, the lower the number, the wetter the concrete. You know what I'm saying? So, 2,000, 1,500, 1,000, 500, it's going to be wetter. If you got a 500 and you're reading on your gauge, you're pretty wet. All right? And that's if your gauge works perfectly. Make sure your gauge works. Don't go off that gauge and them gauges aren't working right. All right? That's more on slump, guys. Salute to everybody out there. Salute to all the new guys coming into this concrete business, man. Um, and I want everybody to just enjoy themselves. Have a great weekend. Salute. I'm out of here, man.